Hey YouTube, it's the Red Pillar of the Blue. I wanted to do a video today on a on my IFAC and uh, if you don't know what IFAC stands for, it just stands for Individual First Aid Kit. Other people call it a blowout kit. I uh, I don't think mine is is a complete kit. It's it's missing a couple things, so I consider just a first aid kit. But um, I think it's very important to have one of these, especially if you if you know if you're prepping and you're in you you're prepping for a collapse of the economy or you know even an an invasion of another foreign force or something something like that oh, excuse me um especially if you if you make the decision that you're going to be going outside in any kind of situation in a, in a collapse of the economy or society and you decide that at some point you're going to go outside whether it's a month two three months after the collapse happens and you um you're gonna go get information or, or scavenge or whatever and you uh and you plan on going out and you take you're taking a firearm you uh you definitely need to to think about the possibility of of being shot shot at and and possibly being shot and get getting hit and and getting up and getting hit in the, the the chest the leg the arm um so i think uh, if you if you if you're prepping and you know you you have firearms i think it's definitely important that you consider um m making an ifac or they have ones that you you know you can get on the internet that are pre pre uh made and everything but i decided to make mine instead mm -hmm. i thought that'd be a little more fun but uh let's get started get it open here we go hold on Oh, it's stuck on something. Um, there we go. As soon as you open it up, there's a uh, cat tourniquet in there. I think it's important to have one of these. Actually, I think it's very important to have one of these because if you get shot in the leg or you, you cut an artery or something like that and you can't stop the bleeding, you, you need something, a tourniquet of some kind, whether or not it's a homemade one or it's an actual cat tourniquet. But I think it's important to uh, at least have this because uh, you can make a improvised tourniquet with you know a belt or anything that you can tie around an arm or leg to stop the bleeding mm -hmm. um, but I, I think it's very important to have to have at least have one of them not if more I plan on getting uh, a cup probably maybe two or three more next I have uh, two packs of combat gauze I have two in there. I'd like to have three um, because I think it's important to have them because if you do get shot and God forbid you get shot more than once, you're going to need enough where you can pack it into to each of those wounds and stop the bleeding so you, you, know, you don't bleed out. So, I mean, I think it's very important to have those. Next is two individual, let's see in here. Oh, there's two uh, two chest seals in here in case you know you get hit in the in the chest and uh, you slap one of these on and you, you peel off the um, there's like a uh, kind of like a sticker type of thing where you pull you pull away the uh, sticky part from the the back of it and you uh, you stick that on a uh, on a a bullet wound to the chest or even a stab wound to the chest so it doesn't cause like a sucking chest wound or anything like that um, then next I have get it out here an Inra is Israeli bandage I think along going along with the combat gauze I think you sh you need to have at least one Israeli bandage uh, maybe I, I like the Israeli bandages not necessarily you don't necessarily have to have an Israeli bandage but you need something to uh, to create pressure on that uh, combat gauze so it, it keeps pressure on the wound so it, it helps stop bleeding on top of the quick clot in that combat gauze you'll have something to uh, keep the pressure on so it doesn't keep bleeding as well you can use these uh, I think there's instructions on the back actually um, you can use these as a, as a sling for or to stabilize uh you know sprain or broken you know arm or ankle or 
wrist or anything like that. And uh, I think it's very important to have these. And then lastly, I have two, two individual pairs of gloves. I think gloves are important because you know, if you if you end up having to, to treat somebody, or somebody actually ends up having to use this on on you, you uh, you know that you don't you're not going to know if if what kind of bloodborne diseases that they have, and and you know maybe they don't have any, but you know you can never be too safe, especially with a a a, a stab wound or a bullet wound. You're not going to want to be sticking your fingers in there. Um, without anything on, but, you know, you know, emergencies, if, you know, if you don't have them, then you kind of have to just man up and, uh, stick your hand in that bullet wound or that knife wound. Um, I plan on adding at least maybe two Z-Pack dressings to this. I, um, I've been looking on the internet and online and Amazon seems like it's the cheapest and, and every once in a while they'll go on, uh, th I think they're like six bucks right now and uh sometimes they'll go the amazon will they'll will have them for like almost seven dollars and then free shipping and i'll usually um you know that's the best time to you know buy five six of them so i'm, I'm probably going to do that but yeah i think it's it's very important to to have a first aid kit and and have it on you um not have it well i mean i guess you could have it in a in a backpack or or something but you need to have one on your person in case you get shot or or a friend if you're out with a friend you know scavenging after an shtf event and you guys end up getting into a firefight and you know you get hit or he gets hit you're gonna want to have to uh take care of that as quickly as possible so you or your friend does not you know bleed out to death but uh if you liked the video, subscribe, share, but don't forget, without sacrifice there could be no victory.